Oh, it Marianne. is. Marianne. And Marine in power and Marianne in despair. The later name referencing uh, France, uh, France's national symbol of liberty. The Bring, Backs Our, the Bring Back Our Girls campaign group expressed an excitement today after dozens of Nigerian girls are freed. Really? They didn't tell, I didn't hear about that. That's I heard what, about that this morning. That's wow. Yeah. Okay. You know uh, this one? I, I've heard that, but I don't know all oh, this. Boko uh, uh, Harmon. Karam. Haram. Yeah, Boko, right? Nice. Hey. Boko Haram. Harmon. Haram. Haram. Boko Haram. Militants kidnapped the schoolgirls in April 2014. Nigeria thanked Switzerland and International Committee of the Red Cross for help in secure the release of the 82 girls after lengthy negotiations. The International Committee of the Red Cross treated, uh, tweeted out that might be the first public image the schoolgirls this year. Or, wait, it wasn't even a year in there, see? Yeah. The schoolgirls. This is the largest release. This is the largest release since 276 schoolgirls were seized from the Shy Book three years ago. <clears throat> All right. The Desert Dog Police. The Desert Dog Police K-9 trials are underway all weekend in Sloan Park in Mesa. Police, military, and government. K, uh, Kaney? K9. K, oh, oh, wow. K9 teams from around the nation are taking part. The Family Fun Events kicks off again this morning, about half an hour, if you want to take, that, if you want to take the family on down. Team 12's Nicole Zimik, Zimik. Zimik is out there for us this morning to check it all out. Coming up next, 12 Week in the Day. What a Facebook is doing to make sure they're monitoring violent live streams. When someone asks for your phone, when someone asks you for, what? When someone asks you for your, they forgot the R. Okay. When someone asks you for your phone number, you're probably, you're probably giving them your phone. Why is the landline, why the landline is soon to be no more? Ahead on 12 News Weekend Today, how can you, how you can benefit from someone else not following the rules with the TSA? Facebook plans to hire 3,000 people to screen for violent video content and live streams. The employers will join Facebook sometime next year. They will add up 4,500 who already review posts. The announcement comes as Facebook faces criticism uh, for allowing posts such as the murder of a man in Cleveland live stream teen suicides. Do you still have an old landline connected to your house? You're now in minority. For the first time ever, more than half American homes only have cell phones. That's according, that's according to the new study released overnight by the CDC's National Center for Health Statistics. You can now watch live TV on Hulu. The company has launched the service with more than 50 channels. Customers will also get 50 hours of recording storage to watch later and up to six profiles. Coming up on 12 Weekend Today, pilots putting, you, putting your life at risk, how they get away with flying drunk. What? Who got caught with that? Oh my, I don't even like flying. <sighs> Plus, the new app that claims it can get you out of paying for a speeding ticket. Huh? So what's the catch? Our, ver our verified team took a closer look. <clears throat> it's, 
And we know kids and germs go hand in hand. But just how bad are those germy backpacks? You may not want to hear some of the stuff we found. Coming up on 12 Weekend Today, our real estate expert is telling us how to make sure your privacy is safe while, you, while your home is on the market. Coming up on 12 Weekend Today, empanadas, hand pies, whatever you call them, the pie guys are the best in the state. And we're, and we're taking you inside to check it all out. Selling homes can be just as stressful as moving out of one. Once, you, once the deal is done, allowing strangers to take over the home for a while, the seller is away, can open people up to very un, uh, unnerving, unnerving safety concerns. Valley real estate expert Holly Hembest has some important safety tips we're going to want to keep in mind when we put our homes on the market. Holly also recommends locking up away any firearms or weapons in the safe and ensure the valuables of the items that carry a lot of sentimental value are hidden. For more great tips, head over to Holly's blog, bestinazhomes.com. Pilots, putting your life at risk. How they get away with flying drunk. Still ahead on 12 today, Got a speeding ticket? A new app claims they can get you out of pan. So what's the catch? Our verified our verify team took a closer look. Right now, on 12 Week in the Day, the new app that claims it can get you out of pan for a speeding ticket. Our, our verified team checks into it to see what the catch is. <sighs> And we know kids and germs go hand in hand. But just how bad are those germy backpacks? You may not want to hear some of the stuff we found. This morning, 12 week in the day, I've got seven ways to help you wake up that don't include coffee or any caffeine for that matter. And, some, and somebody call Mike Rowe because I can handle the dirty job. See what happens when I cover the shift. For a, for a dairy farmer at the Valley Zone, Dan Z, Dan Z, what? Dan, Dan Zizen. Dan Zizen Dairy. Good morning, I'm Brandon McGee with Matt Murrow. Welcome to 12 Week in the Day for a Sunday. You hear the sirens, and then you get away, and you get that sinking feeling. You just got pop speeding. As you pull over, you know it's going to cost you. So will you put pay up, or will you put up a f what? So will you pay up, or will you fight it? Those were your options until now. Teams 12, Jen Titus, for our, ver for our Verify unit in Florida Explains. The app is currently available in 21 Florida uh, counties. We'll have to wait to see if a similar service makes its way to Arizona. Whether your kid is in preschool or college, there are probably one of the items found around everywhere. And most likely, it's one item that doesn't get washed too often. Teams 12, Marion Ky uh, Kyle, reports on bacteria and over the back and all over the backpack. Book bags are those items that last for years. And every day, several times a day, they get tossed on the floor. Carrying books, lunches, clothes. And rarely do they get washed the way the sweaty gym clothes do. And maybe you should dump them or you should dump everything out and wash it immediately because we took a look in a book bag to Cetic Labs for testing. 
they found well over 300 units of staff. In fact, there was more staff than the test could even count. The testing also found 25 uh, colon sized units of E. Coley as well. But not, but not all hope is lost. And Dr. Frank Esper with the University Hospital says, you can stress it all, you can, you can stress all you want, but the dangerous, the dangerous germs are everywhere. Even before your kid gets to school, you need to keep things clean. Extra safe for babies and toddlers. Remember to clean and disinfect those car seats. Here's a look at what's coming up on 12 Weekend Today. <clears throat> D -backs in the D-backs in Colorado. Rockies outfitters could have taken the night off because they didn't record a single out. D-backs had seven hits, only two left the infield. Rock's pitcher, uh, Rockies pitchers rung up 13 strikeouts. Patrick Corbin allowed a season high eight runs on nine hits in four plus innings for, the, for work. D-backs lose nine to one. No drama at the Derby. Favorite always dreaming dominated the 143rd Kentucky Derby. It's the fifth straight year a favorite has won, longest such streak since the 1970s. Trainer Todd Fletcher, who graduated from the U of A, was brought to tears after capturing his second derby title. Warriors go up 3-0 on the Jazz after, after their 102-91 winner. Kevin Durant was shocked after he got a flinger foul for pushing Rudy Gerber. But now, but he was more amazed after the game. The Desert Dog Police K-9 trials are underway all weekend out to Lone Park in Mesa. Police, military, and government uh, candidate teams from around the nation are taking part. Whew. Oh, man. Mm. Did I try something? What are you gonna try? I, was, I, was, I don't know. Did I try something different or just keep it like that? Just keep breathing. <sighs> I'm gonna do the sports one again. The D-backs in Colorado. Rockies outfitters could have taken the night off because they didn't record a single out. D-backs had seven hits, only two left the infield. Rockies pitchers rung up 13 strikeouts. Patrick Corbin allowed a season high, eight runs on nine hits, four innings plus of work. D-backs lose nine to one. <clears throat> the drama at the Derby, no, no drama at the Derby. Favorite always winning, dominated the 143rd Kentucky Derby. It's the fifth straight year a favorite has won. Longest such streak since the 1970s. Trainer Todd Fletcher, who graduated from the U of A, was brought to tears after capturing his second Derby title. Warriors go up 3-0 on the Jazz after their 102-91 winner. Kevin Durant was shocked after he got a flagrant one, uh, or he got a flagrant one foul for pushing Rudy Gerbert, but he was more amazed after the game. Okay. It does get easier after you kind of know what they're going to say.